with Dennis Hastert and blocking the bill on genocide in 2000, uh, we just have a very small part of what took place. He had received bribery cash to block this vote. And he was not the only one either. There, there were other people in Congress who, who were part of this. A new story in Vanity Fair is alleging that Turkish Americans may have attempted to bribe a group of U.S. lawmakers, including Republican Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert. The allegation appears in an extended piece in the magazine about FBI whistleblower Sibel Edmonds. According to the magazine, Edmonds was helping the FBI translate tapes surrounding an investigation of Turkish nationals. She was fired from her job after she complained about corruption at the agency. Edmonds is under a federal gag order not to publicly discuss what she heard on the wiretaps. But sources tell the magazine Edmonds has testified she heard wiretaps of individuals boasting they had covert relationships with Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert and that Turkish interests had given tens of thousands of dollars in small donations to Hastert. Since Vanity Fair had run that article exposing his ties, and I said, you watch, it's going to happen and there will be no accountability and, and making a mockery of the entire system. When a Speaker of the House can stand up there and say, we have the votes, but we got to nullify it. A good example of how uh, Europe and the United States, in acceding to Turkey's demands to not recognize the Armenian Genocide, has emboldened it in other forms of human rights suppression, uh, is its suppression uh, of the Kurds. In particular, uh, the total destruction of the largest Kurdish language TV station, uh, ROJ TV. A Kurdish language television channel accused of supporting terrorism is being prosecuted in Denmark after years of pressure from the Turkish government. Roj TV is accused of helping to promote the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, known as the PKK, a group considered to be a terrorist organization by Turkey, the US and the EU. Now, ROJ TV it was based in Denmark, uh, beaming up to Eurosat and down into the Kurdish regions. The Danish Prime Minister wanted to become head of NATO, Rasmussen. In a, a plot documented in our cables between Barack Obama, Turkey and Denmark, they all agreed to censor uh, ROJ TV by finding mechanisms within the Danish legal system uh, to do it, whether it was uh, on, based on their content, uh, not being accurate enough or going after them on taxation. The deal was that if ROJ TV was wiped out, the largest Kurdish language broadcaster was wiped out by Denmark, then Rasmussen would become the head of NATO, Turkey would remove, remove, remove its veto, uh, and the United States uh, would also get what it, want, get what it wanted by having this uh, Dane very sympathetic to the United States uh, be head of NATO. The court in Copenhagen's fined a Kurdish language TV based there 400,000 euros for making propaganda for a terrorist organization. The Danes say the propaganda was in support of the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party or PKK. <laughs> We don't have a land, okay? We don't have a territory. We, we had just a television. And today, thank you, thank you. We, we don't have anything. So that's why we are here. And that's exactly what happened. And the cables documenting that are now being used in the European Court of Human Rights uh, by ROJ TV. So exceeding to these outland outlandish Turkish demands uh, to deny a very well-documented historical fact has uh, let Turkey understand that it can be a diplomatic bully uh, and it, it achieve power success in a variety of areas. And if I were Armenia, I would never ever try to align myself with the United States, really, because they will be betrayed as Kurds have been betrayed over and over and over again. Every time there is a war in the region, United States, they go and they use Kurds as allies. You know, Before them, Brits do, did the same thing. Israel does it against Iran. They go and they form uh, you know, these alliances with the Kurds. 
But then when the push comes to shove and Turkey does something, they all stand aside and they're like, go ahead and do it and massacre them. Mm -hmm.